Hello, my wee darlings. Welcome to Monday. You know, usually it's Tuesdays, but today's a Monday. I'm out walking. It's not raining yet, but you can see that sunshine just isn't out. And it's our last not rainy day for at least a week. But I don't know that it's going to be super rainy. Anyway, um, I'm going to flip around and show you some three things. Uh, because that's what's going on on the farm currently. All right, so here... You can see uh, right over here, that is a Douglas spur. Uh, that is not what they harvest off of this farm. Um, they do these nobles and why there's a noble over here just hanging out, who knows. But these nobles are out here. That guy right there, that beautiful majestic creature, that is a giant slash grand fir. Those are my favorite smelling trees for sure. So I'll probably be clipping some um, boughs off of this guy and taking them inside just to have that scent. Um, but the Christmas tree that I pulled out of the field yesterday that had already been, um, taken down was like the top half, like that tree there. It's like the top of that, but then there's like the rest of that tree there. And so what they've been doing is they'll find a beautiful tree. They'll take, let me see if I can get my finger in here. They'll keep the stem, like that top stem is what makes them very worth money. So they'll cut down the entire tree and then they will figure out where it's beautiful at, try and tag it at that spot. So then they will put a flag here and then another flag if they're going to bow it out. Um, there are some on this tree actually right here. You can kind of see the flags right there. It's pink and yellow. So they'll take it all the way at the bottom. They will probably cut it around there or maybe a little bit lower. They'll chop. And then that part of that beastie there, which honestly, where's that one at? That one's right here. Um, that tree is probably still from this point here, eight to 10 feet tall, believe it or not. And then they'll bow out that bottom part. So if you look right over there, you can see there's, oops, there's part of a tree there and that is actually the bottom half of that, that they already cut the top half off, pulled it out and it's already been baled and off to wherever it's gonna be for you, the consumer, to buy. Um, and so I did some research too to figure out, you know, there's a lot of you come and you cut tree farms out here in Oregon and um, other places I am sure. And kind of the going rate is anywhere, unless like all of their trees are about the same size and they're just like, whatever price they decide to put on it, it's their farm. They can put whatever price they want on it. Again, these trees are all contracted out to a comp like a people, company, whatever. They come, they cut, they do all that process. They pay a across the board price for the trees. That's none of my damn business, but I know that much. They they have a hard number that they pay every year for each tree. Then they sell it to set to retailers, right, at a marked up price. So let's say they buy each one of our trees for a hundred dollars, okay? Um, then they sell it to the retailer for 150, 175, 200, whatever it comes out to be. And then they turn around, the retailer turns around, and then sells it to you, the consumer, for another marked up rate, whether that be $350, $400, whatever. Now, granted, I don't know prices. I'm just giving you ball, I'm just giving you round numbers. That's all I'm giving you. I have no idea what the prices are. However, I do know there are tree farms in this area that sell nobles and or other trees, and they sell them at $20 a foot, okay? So if you want one of these big majestic beasties at $20 a foot, and on average the good parts that are like here and up are, <clears throat> you know, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18 feet, you can't get trees like this regularly. This is a rarity actually, believe it or not. Can you believe that? These beautiful majestic beasties and creatures out here that are very, very tall. I mean, put it in perspective. Okay, guys, like, they're huge. Um, like, the halves that they've cut off, like I told you guys, all the trees that they plucked out were anywhere from 10 to 18 feet that they plucked out to sell. 
10 to 18 feet. All of these trees out here, they still, like the bases, they're still anywhere from 6 to 12 feet of tree that they didn't take, that they cut down, that they're going to bow out. Like, that's crazy. Those trees are huge. So if you want one of these very tall, skinny, majestic beasties, these beautiful creatures out here, like you're looking just at $20 a foot, do the math, an 18 foot tree is like $360. That's just $20 a foot. That's crazy to me. And people are paying this. They're paying more than that retail. These we were told last year before all the beautiful inflation of our country. Thank you, depression. <laughs> inflation. Anyway, um, we were told last year that the 14 footers and taller were going to be sold for $900 or more in California retail. Nine. Nine hundred dollars plus for a freaking Christmas tree. I've got all these beautiful majestic creatures for free every year. <laughs> Especially. Where'd he go? Oh, he's back here. Especially my grand fur. I'll never cut that one down. I might decorate it, but I'm never cutting that beastie down. I might cut boughs to have in the house, but because we're surrounded by Christmas trees, we don't normally have a Christmas tree in the house. At least that's what Jeff likes doesn't like to do so when i brought that tree out of the field yesterday he was none too happy about it but i get it with what he's dealt with for the last you know 20 years or whatever out on the farm um yeah i get it anyway that's life so my christmas tree will be decorated and it will stay outside um so that anybody who drives by can enjoy it as well as me and then we don't have to worry about spiders and creatures and things inside the house. And I'll just have a couple of boughs for scenting purposes. Off my favorite kind of tree. Um, I don't particularly care for the scent of nobles um, at all, to be honest. I don't like them, uh, the scent of them. But that poor little wee fella, it done broke. And he deserves to live his life as he should for Christmas. So we shall do so. And that is what we will do. Okay, you guys have a good day now. It's long video, sorry.